um, here in Kenya, it's not very easy to be a MSM. Oh, we, are, we are so stigmatized. It was terrible. I, I, I couldn't even go to a hospital. How was I supposed to explain what happened? The moment you come out, perhaps you'll be, uh, you, you be killed. There's so many um, diseases coming up and I'd like my people to be safe. Most of the general clinics are not friendly towards gay people. And when you go there, um, they, they start asking so many questions that uh, you don't feel comfortable answering and um, they'll chase you away. Hence, it will be hard for you to uh, access information about what is affecting you. I'm a driver, I'm a trucker. I usually commit between Mwanza, Tanzania to Mombasa, Kenya. We are quite busy, so it's, it's difficult to access any facility to be tested or to get information about uh, HIV, AIDS or other any ailments. I've stayed for about three years without being tested. At that time, I was still new in the, the business. The, the negotiations were high, so I agreed. When I told him I want my money, that's when the vicha started, beat me up. You know, it's embarrassing. But you know, I didn't know what to do. I, I didn't have any other alternative. The next day, I had to go back with the bruises still on my face. Rafiki yangu, tulikuwa tunayenda hiyo kasi ya ukahaba. Sasa yendi ya liniambia, kuja ni kuwensho palingine. Ndiyo tuende tufanyene, tusome. With the assistance of NPI, NOPA established drop-in service centers, also called SASA centers, serving the key populations with health education and services, as well as training and support aimed at empowerment, gender-based violence prevention, and provision of alternative sources of income. We have nine drop-in service centers in three regions, and they are located in high transmission areas. Alongside implementation funding, NOPA received technical assistance from the TANPI team to help strengthen staff skills and organizational systems. For us to work effectively, we have to have very solid guidelines and curricula. TANPI has been a very responsive partner. A partner who then you share the goals of what you want to achieve. They knew we had some strengths in areas and also areas of improvement. They conducted the technical capacity assessment, which identified areas that we just needed to consolidate, strengthen, and ensure all staff members you know, adhere to those standards. But they also identified areas that needed you know, some support. A particular area, for example, was curriculum development and training for most at risk population, in particular men who have sex with men. NPI brought in a consultant to work with us intensively. We realized that we needed to base our curriculum uh, with the foundation of a socio-ecological model, which tries to look at the individual with the society, the surrounding environment, and looking at the issues that are affecting uh, these particular individuals from either adopting positive behavior, either influenced individually or influenced by the surrounding and even the policies that exist. Throughout this process, TNPI has been supportive in also having trainings with uh, 
the selected MSMs and also doing a, a, a training of trainers for peer educators for MSMs, which initially we didn't have even nationally. And today I can say proudly, like in Kenya, we have, I would say, the most skilled trainers of trainers for men who have sex with men. Those are areas which TNPI has helped. Having these centers for MSM sex workers and trackers has been a great achievement for this project. I got tested first um, in a uh, SASA center. That was my first ever encounter when it comes to uh, STI screening and HIV test. After that, I made, uh, I made sure that my peers know about um, SASA center and I'm spreading the good word. The more I see people accessing these services, the more I see people coming out and being comfortable with themselves. You feel comfortable when you come here, you call your peers, you share out when it comes to your health issues and so many other things and thus making it as in a safer place to be. They're the best thing that has ever happened to MSM community in Kenya. People saw these the Sasa people by the roadside you know, and they convince us to be tested. It's good because it saves our time. I'm very happy because of at least I've known my my status. Sasa sai na usanga hapa uji na napiga chips. Right now I know my rights and I know what to do if somebody should assault me and I know somebody else cares for me. So I'm not alone.